Hello students, I am Tonmoy. So I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecules. So today we will discuss an interesting topic that is Prevost method and Woodward modification. What are these two reactions? These are actually conversion of alkene into diol but selectively cis and trans diol. So it's an interesting topic. Why this is important? Because in reaction, in uh, exam, you could have been given this uh, problem and because of slight difference, you can make the mistake. There is a very chance. So I will explain everything in details, mainly the reaction mechanism and the stoichiometry of the reagent. That's a very important thing, which is product resulting an entirely different product and question how. So a lot of chemistry to be learned. So today's talk will can cover the basic idea and the differences of these two reactions. Then complete mechanism of these two processes and finally one important thing, this Prevost method is called dry method and this Woodward modification is called wet method. Why they are like that? So let's start. As you can see that both reaction uses almost similar type of reagent. What are those two reagents? Those two reagents are iodine and silver carboxylate. This is here benzoate and their acetate, nothing different, not that much. But the most important thing, see the ratio. The ratio is the most important factor. Here iodine is to silver oxide, 1 is to 2. Whereas in case of Woodward modification, this is the Woodward modification and this is the previous method. Okay. So here 1 is to 1. And another difference, see here dry benzene. And here aqueous acetic acid. These two points, dry means dry method. Since it is a, it is using dry benzene, that's why it is dry method. Since it is using aqueous acetic acid, then that's why this is wet method. Okay. So this is a mnemonic device to keep re to remember which one is which. First of all, so if you are asked that which one is dry method, which one is wet method, you can. Now explain based on the word that is a dry as well as aqueous. Now the most important question, changing the stoichiometry of the reagent, how this entirely different product is formed because this is trans and this is cis diol. Okay, so how this producing entirely different product that is the question. And that we will now discover. So, in order to get the information, we need to understand the mechanism. Okay. So, first discuss about this part. So, in presence of iodine with a double bond, we know that this halogen addition of double bond, what it first result? It result in bridge iodonium. So, means iodine is sufficiently enough to be acidic and second, there is silver plus present. So, this silver plus, this silver plus will result in silver iodide plus you can say iodonium cation or better to say that this bond will be pluralized, this is plus and this is minus. This minus will be attached to the silver atom. That is the thing we learn. So, what happened consequently, this alkene will attack it and what it will result? It will result in this and having this positive charge. Now we know that there is when such type of situation created like halogen addition to alkene, I have already uploaded a dedicated video, please visit that video. So this undergo further attack means NGP neighboring group participant, what it result? Bridge iodonium. So bridge halonium in case of bridge bromonium, here bridge iodonium. So this is a bridge iodonium. Now why this bridge iodonium can form? First of all, bigger size. So, first point, large larger size of iodine and lower electronegativity of iodine. That's why it can be at the positive charge efficiently. So, this much amount is enough and what happened? This silver iodide got precipitated out. Okay, now think, previously there was silver benzoate. So in the reaction medium there is benzoate anion. So what happened? This benzoate anion undergo reaction. So this is benzoate. 
Now this is we know that carboxylates are moderately efficient nucleophile, so it can attack here. Since I haven't mentioned any substitution on this alkene, that's why I can attack any uh, place. But when there is a particular substitution mentioned, please follow that thing. So it will open up. So what it will result? This is iodine. This and this is benzoate. Fine. This. So it's a neutral molecule. Now see the method is. What is the solvent? Dry benzene. So it can't participate in the reaction. So what happened? This lone pair, this lone pair attacks, and this iodine leaves. It said it resulted a five-member ring formation. Fine. Why this is? Because neighboring group participation. So this this O O P H. And this has a positive charge that is resonance stabilized with the neighboring oxygen. Okay, so so in this way because so the canonical form is okay. This is the canonical form. Stabilized, but what message is given by? Actually, the message given by this two structure is that positive charge. Instead of that, we can consider that positive charge is on this carbon atom. Okay, as carbon is relatively less electronegative, so it can. So up to this, this is happens after after this when one is to two. Okay. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I made mistake. Sorry, I made mistake. So, since it is sorry, so this will form in next step. What can happen? That there is a two equivalent means another equivalent of benzoate. Okay. So, what do I mean? This iodine will leave because additional excess silver benzoate is there. Okay, so this silver iodide will precipitate so minus silver iodide. So in reaction medium there is an another molecule of benzoate. So that molecule of benzoate means this will attack and it will open up. So what it result? So it will result in. O C O P H. This is O C O P H. Now, question: This is actually the trans, trans or anti whatever say. This is the anti orientation. Why this is anti? Because iodide is a good leaving group. First point. Second point is that in the reaction medium there is this neighboring group which can participate. So silver plus first presence of silver plus. Second, good leaving group. Third is the neighboring group participant resulting this. It's a cis orientation. So what happened then? Additional CO two pH means CO two pH attacks here and it opens up. So this in trans. So if you hydrolyze, if you hydrolyze means in terms of H three O plus, what it will result? It will result hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means these are actually benzoate star. So For your better understanding, I can represent this. This is so. This can be protonated. This way, so hydrolysis. So I have already made a video, dedicated video of strong hydrolysis in terms of acid or base. Please visit if you have any confusion about the mechanism. I am not going to explain details here. So fine, it is hydrolyzed to produce a trans ion because this original these are trans. Okay, fine. Now let us discuss about this example. So. We have understood up to this means this. So one equivalent is here. Second, the another equivalent. So when there is a one equivalent of acid, it's same similar thing. So what will be the several after several step? The product is this oxygen oxygen. This is the CH3 with this canonical form. I will not explain. I have just explained. 
Now question is C. There is one equivalent silver, one equivalent acetate. Fine. So here that iodide anion will remain close proximity because this is a cationic molecule. And see the reaction is actually carried out in presence of aqueous acetic acid. Okay. So aqueous acetic acid means you can think that this has could have another canonical form where the carbon center is bearing the positive charge. What is the purpose to write this canonical form? The purpose is to give you the message that the carbon center is electrophilic in nature, electron deficient. Now we have aqueous acetic acid. So what can happen? That water molecule can attack. So water molecule can attack here. So when water molecule will attack here, what it will result? So it will result in So, first of all, it will result in, let us draw it again. So, in presence of water molecule, so it will attack here, it will open up. So, CH3, this with water molecule. So, proton will be removed. So next step, what proton is removed in this case, means it, actually it's an acidic medium. So what can happen? This could be protonated. Okay. So if this could be protonated, so what is expected? That this lone pair push, this one will open. So what it will result? So just draw everything as it is. This O. OH, this, this is the CH3, fine, see, the hydrolysis first part is actually this, actu see, since this final, these two oxygens are attached in cis fashion, so cis fashion, or seen fashion, or seen fashion, that here, now you can argue one part, one question, that sir, why the water molecule will attack here? There is a chance that water molecule can attack this carbon also. Okay. But one important information you must keep it in mind that this is a tertiary type center because if you consider the four substituents, so this, this is more bulkier compared to this. Now second, that this is a sp3 center. This is a sp3 center and this is a sp2 center. So attacking on sp2 center is favored. Third point is that See, this is containing a positive charge, so uh, this center is extremely, extremely electron deficient. And this electron deficiency results in enhanced reactivity at this center. That's why instead of attacking this lone pair at this carbon, it attacks this. And that is the reason for the selectivity for the cis product. Get it? Fine. So, this and next step, this will also hydrolyze. So hydrolysis means this is an ester, acetate ester. So if it hydrolyzes, ultimately this will result in the cis product because both are cis. So this is the overall discussion about the mechanism of this Prevost method and Woodward modification. What is the difference? Only one equivalent of the silver plus reagent. Okay. So this is the overall discussion. Please keep this reagent in mind that why these two recondition, slight difference in condition giving slide because two important point I should mention that second equivalence of this benzo silver benzoid results in the anti-attack and opening up this ring that's why it is trans here this is cis and under reaction this reaction condition is producing trans uh, sorry it's producing cis and second is Aqueous means water is there. That's why this is attacked and this hydrolysis and produces this, this one. So this is the overall this discussion. I know it's difficult. If you feel any difficulty, I suggest you please watch the video from the beginning again and come to the end. I guess you will understand. So thank you everyone for your patience. So if you like my teaching, please help me to grow my channel. First of all, Subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule. Please press the bell icon to get all the notifications about single video I upload because I almost upload on a regular basis. So if you don't press, you may miss some videos. 
and I know if you keep your video stored in that I will not watch today, I will go tomorrow, there will be a huge load for you because day time is fixed for everyone, means a day is 24 hours for everyone. So I suggest you please visit, please watch the video on a regular basis. Second, share this video among your friends so that many people will be benefited and that's the biggest gain from, for me and another thing in this way you can also promote my channel and if you promote my channel I will also try to up, uh, upload videos on a regular basis and thirdly please like the videos and make some good comments your call, like and comments are the biggest inspiration for me to prepare some good videos and but if you think that some modification is essential please feel free to mention in the comment box and please write your suggestion to improve the situation so thank you again stay happy stay blessed god bless you see you in my next video